previously on The Walking Dead. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. I only need a minute. Should've put you out of your misery right then. When I look at Kenny now, he just, he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. Here. Thanks. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Everybody be cool. Straight through. Shit. 
safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. Thanks for coming back. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. I didn't deserve it. I tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. I didn't think it would be. But it is. Spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just. She just lost too much blood. It ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. We should probably go. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. It's over, man. He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you I'm doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. It doesn't have to go down like that. Kenny, his, his sister is dead. He's lost enough already. You don't have to do this. To this house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit. No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it cool. Kenny, back off. If he's telling the truth, it could save all of us. We need the food. None of this will matter if we all starve to death. She's right, Kenny. We're running low on supplies as it is. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there's supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. Yeah, I got some. Follow me, I take you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. Shots, I, I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite 
Everything I've seen. Everything I've been through. I'm not pissed. I'm glad you're back. I didn't want you to go in the first place. Thanks. That's... that's good. Because you're probably 90% of the reason I came back. And it'd probably get pretty annoying if you hated me the whole time. I wouldn't want it to be annoying. No. That would suck. I'm gonna try to make this work. All I can do is... promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arms. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... he's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. He's lost. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a break. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... I'll do my best. Slow pokes. Need a second. Sorry, I just, I just put more weight on it than I should have. All right, wait there. Hey, what I say? When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Kenny, come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. That's enough! Leave him alone! Just fucking stay good. But I have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. He's been through enough. You all right here? Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got Clam if I need him. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. It all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. You are? Just scared. That's when it happens. When they don't know what to do. <sighs> yeah. Makes sense to me. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. It's like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. Alive. 
that so many of my friends are dead for no good reason. And I couldn't do anything to stop. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca. Carlos, Sarah. You can't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. No. Not completely. I could have done more. And that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones. This should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. I was just mentioning how cold it is lately. Yeah. Good thing you got that cool jacket, huh? I'm sure most of that'll come out with soap and water. I'm fine. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was... I mean... Huh. Yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. You like that? Well, I think AJ proves what he uh, got there. Because I think I'm all right. I'm changing your bandage. Sounds like I don't have much choice in the matter. You don't. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. Alright. Let's get it over with. Hopefully you don't scare this little guy. It's okay. I trust you. So that's the book.
let's head out. Is that it? Hey, I'm talking to you! What? It? It's what? What do you mean, what? The place you're fucking taking us! Arvo, is this where the supplies are? Where the food is? Answer her, goddammit! No, it's at the house. There's still more work. Some more hours. God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen! This guy fucked us! Uh, thank you. No mention it. It's getting dark. Maybe we should stop for the night. This is bullshit. Relax. Don't tell me to relax. He's lying. He's been lying this whole time. Luke needs a break. We probably all do. Look, I'll do whatever you guys want, okay? But I could use the rest. It'd be safer to rest in there, where there's a fence. Can we just try and have a calm, quiet night? Please. That sounds nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. If we're staying, we should scout this place out. All right. Y'all wait here. I'll go make sure this ain't some walker nest we're locking ourselves into. I'll go with you. Uh, see if, uh, see if you can calm him down a bit. No, that's all you. Wouldn't have guessed that'd work. Me neither. I think he likes you. Calmed right down for you. He's cute. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Most babies are pretty ugly this soon after being born. That's true. They usually look like weird little aliens. Here, I got them. Come on over. It's safe. Today's my birthday. Here as I can tell, at least. Happy birthday, Luke. Yeah, man. Happy birthday. Thanks. So, that makes you... what? 27? That's... that's right. I'm surprised you remember. Sure as hell feel a lot older. Don't even start with that shit. Got out of college five years ago. Feels like a million years. At least I don't have to worry about paying off them student loans. I hear that. I'm sure there's some asshole sitting on that paperwork, waiting to collect. And what did you study? Majored in art history. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Sounds like you majored in working in a coffee shop. Pretty much. Oh, stop it. You get a minor in agriculture. Keep the old man happy. Oh, I almost forgot. We're saving it for a special occasion. Birthday and all. Figure. This is as good a time as any. I'd like to say. I mean, after you, obviously. Really? No. Oh, what's a sip gonna hurt? You are not drinking. That is that. I feel a little guilty taking the first. Whoa, uh... wait! You gotta make a toast. I'm not really the uh Come on, birthday boy. It don't have to be fancy. A toast means we all got something to drink. 
Oh, we can just pass the bottle around afterwards. Go on. <clears throat> to the loved ones that we've lost along the way. And to the hope that we see them again. Someday. Here, here. That was real nice. Yeah? I didn't mean for it to rhyme. That was... Well, I got first watch. I think the fence has got us pretty secure. Can't be too careful. Come on, Kenny. At least have a drink. Nah, maybe later. Clem, let him go. I'm gonna post up over near the hole in the fence there. Holler if you need anything. Thanks, Kenny. Fire's real nice. Plenty of room if you want to get warm. Maybe in a bit. I didn't expect her to come back. Just when I thought I got her figured out, she up and surprises. It's a good thing. You saved our ass. I know. I know. I just... don't know what she's getting at all this. She usually travels by herself. That has to be hard. Maybe she's just lonely. Well, that'd explain a few things. It was stupid. I understand. She's a pretty girl. What's it? Get past all the dirty words. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to forget about all this shit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes? Man, that's longer than I'd last at this point. Hey. All right. All right. It wasn't ten minutes. Come on. We got a little one around. Sorry. Forget I said anything. You know what you guys are talking about. I certainly hope not. You're talking about kissing stuff. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that, that is exactly it. Was there any kissing? You shut your mouth right now, the both of you. Maybe she came back for you. Could be. I don't know. Maybe she likes him? No, well, I think we could bet on that. As you see here, Luke's a regular Casanova. Hey, shut up. Don't be modest. Your moves are working on all the ladies. Worked on me. <sighs> Shit. I just did it too, didn't I? Sorry. It's the drink talking. They say a drunk man's talk is a sober man's thought. Well, I ain't a man, so they can take that shit somewhere else. Clem, go see if you can get Jane and Kenny over by the fire. It's too cold for them to be out there right now. Oh, and here, maybe a swig of this will change the minds. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. We just want you to feel welcome. It's warm over by the fire. What is it? It's rum. that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah, because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? Want to sit? It's okay. Um, sure. <laughs> you okay? I better take that back. 
I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. What was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces. Sounds like a mess. Yeah, it was. Every couple years, someone would step on a piece of glass that didn't get swept up and get mad at me all over again. The problem with glass is, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. A deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Want to sit here? No. That's... I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being here. 
I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah. Take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really? I am. Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? There's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Behind you! What the fuck? Ah! 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 Jesus Christ. That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. There. That piece of shit? It's half built. We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. I'd just like a place to sit, if I'm honest. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not 
not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. Okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. It's only two of them. Should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's too less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! Oh, Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't run! Well, they made it. Did 
that happen. There's a fireplace. Jesus Christ. We have to get her warm. She's gonna freeze to death. Another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How is beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know. Take a look at you, kid. Jesus. He could have killed you. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back, trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? If he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. Be okay. Trust me. If you say so. 
I'm gonna find something to clean that up. Thank you. Thank you. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch it. Clem. Just be careful. she have to say I know she was running her mouth what did she say you shouldn't have done that to Arvo I know I know Clem but, but Luke you don't care you can't do that Jesus Clem you know me you know I'm not like that you scared me you scared all of us Kenny it won't happen again that's a promise us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, all right? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean son of a bitch. But he taught me respect. A girl like Jane learn a thing or two about that. We're all just tired. Hell, I've been tired for two years. All right, give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road. Really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> Kenny, are you okay? We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving it with that girl. Busted.
Mike and Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! Seen that look before. Son of a bitch! He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, a nice pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. It's not rocket science. I feel like I drop it. Hey, I'm in charge of the baby holding. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of the crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. All that for one person? That's what I'm saying. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turn and rip the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky, like she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Come on. 
us. You better talk some sense into him. For his sake. Across half of Georgia looking for you. A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What'd you think he'd say? going on after that. That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, when I first saw you back at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me, and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now, grown up. I, I felt pride, a pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Get some sleep, because we got to be ready.
didn't mean for this to happen. Oh my god, Clem! What the fuck did you do? Clem! What did you do? Oh, 
shot you. We had to run the truck to keep it. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I, I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from my cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jim. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Penny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. All right? Kenny... I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Get us out of here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit there. Wait.
I'm afraid, Clem. It's okay, kid. You're going to see Kaji die. You're going to see me again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. Understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I'm sick. You're fucking crazy. How could you do this? I had to do it, Clem. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. With AJ in danger. I got my friend killed, just to prove a point? It's a stupid thing. I should never have you. But I thought it was the only way I could see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. I just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Claire. I did this for you. I can't do this alone. Okay? Is that what you want to hear? 